Welcome back to Let's Play Quake 2, Ground Zero. I'm Burning Dog Face, and this underground train has run out of juice. Munitions plant. Obtain antimatter pod from Ammo Depot. Find entrance to Ammo Depot. Last time, after a whole lot of suffering, I defeated a very large enemy called the Carrier. Nope. God damn it. Oh, it's a fucking... you know what. Do over! Fucking turrets. The bane of my existence! Excuse me. Pardon me. I don't actually know what happened there. It's like, I was trying to duck out and, uh... You know, make a rush for it, but there's nowhere I can stand or fucking everything can't see me. And the more I moved, the more everything was triggered. Okay, that worked out pretty well, actually. Wasn't like a gladiator or something out here? Yeah. Righty! I think there's a severe amount of damage. Fortunately, there's one in my hands, too. Oh, I don't think he liked that. I think he liked that even less. But the important thing is that he learned his lesson. That lesson is that when you shoot someone with a railgun, it really fucking hurts. <laughs> Just checking. Sure, why not? Up. Huh. Why is there Thalite here, anyway? Well, it's not in a track or anything, so... Uh, no, the vet could move. That's the grenade launcher. No, that's the grenade launcher. This is the one I was going for. Just constantly looking around for fucking turrets and other things that could pop out of the walls. Oh, hand jobs. I activated the environment suit. That's not really a great weapon to use against those guys anyway. Try this then. There's a dude back there. 
I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. This thing or that thing? This thing. I actually like this thing quite a bit better than the Hyper Blaster. Given that my main complaint with the Hyper Blaster is that it's, uh... Well, since it's got actual projectiles, it's kind of slow, and uh, it's really easy to miss at uh, even medium distance. I should not have this gun in my hands. That's... <clears throat> That's better. Nope. 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 You dumbass! Fire those right off his ass. Well, now he knows how I feel playing this, uh. Fuck! God, it's not even that this is a. You know, this, the back is badly done. This is. These levels are really well made, it's just. Tactics are so cheap. You know, it's been so long since I actually played the game that I've been wondering for a while now was American McGee's Alice like this? Like, did they, you know, mellow out and make it more fair, or was that game full of unfair ambushes and shit, too? So the turret watched him die, unable to do anything about it. <laughs> Thought I missed. Thought I had four. No! thing right there, but, you know, I'm only missing one shot right now. Which is weird, because I just fired three. I also find it interesting they seem to have skipped straight to the uh, tank commander here. Did I ever use that guy's head? Serious question. If you guys remember me doing that, go ahead and let me know. Similarly, oh, you bitch. There's a 
reason they call these guys tanks. Fuck. Oh yeah, I was starting to say, similarly... Uh... I noticed when I was poking through my inventory for goods and services... You. Totally forgot about this. I still got that power cube from the first level. I can't actually select it, but uh, there it is below the IR goggles. That's where they don't fade away at the same rate. Incidentally, I'm guessing the reason that happens is because individually remember uh, remembering rendering all those gibs was a uh, a strain on the computers of 1997. You know, rendering a solid uh, re rendering a single solid corpse is one thing, but uh, you know that's why those stay there in perpetuity and why the medics can take advantage of them. But, uh, rendering all those individual gibs... Oh. This place is lousy with health. It's great! I thought that was a gunner. Good, another one. I hear infighting. I hear turrets. No! I'll kill all your dogs! there for a second. I was like, was my objective kill that medic? I don't even think that was one of the hardcore ones. <laughs> Fuck. Right in the face. We can wait. coffee shop without having to worry about alien invasions. Man, I'll leave that one there. Nope. And the other one. See, now I can go back and get that, uh, railgun ammo. I'm pretty sure I should check. Gravity well... Gravity well access denied! We're there! At last. Oh, fuck, I totally forgot to say it. I wanted to say it right at the beginning of the session, but I didn't. Uh... Guys, I'm coming to a decision. 
Thou dost need the antimatter pod. Uh. In all honesty, I'm kind of burning out on this thanks to the extremely unfair difficulty of uh, Ground Zero. I didn't realize it was going to be this you know difficult and this long. Because remember, I, I I had been thinking in terms of DLC where you know uh, a level set will be an additional level set will be at best half the length of the uh, main campaign. That's embarrassing. Eh, not that quite. But instead, this is, you know, a traditional... This is every bit as, uh... Well, the guy... The, the negative review that really caught my attention was one that made it sound like the levels had terrible design. So in addition to being super cheap and unfair, it's, uh, not even, you know... It's not even well made. But that doesn't seem to be the case. It's well made, it's just extremely difficult. was somewhere odd. Interface. Fuck. I want to get the third person, you see. Ah, controls, that's right. What was I trying to hit? Uh, I hit... I was trying to hit G, so I guess I hit... I'm just gonna hit this in case I use an item. Huh! Oh, that's why they call it the, uh, chain fist strapped to his arm. I, mean, I thought that was the case, but, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake. The, uh... I thought it switched to a, a second thing that looked like Tesla before it switched to the grenades. So I thought maybe that's where the disruptors were. Okay. It's all made, it's difficult, it's just that I wasn't expecting this for so long. Acquire the antimatter pod, locate security computer, and disable door locks. So that rather than, you know, well, let me put it this way, there's an entire other uh, expansion pack after this. So I thought, rather than go into the Reckoning when I'm all burnt out like this, I have decided to put that one off for a while and uh, go on to something else, you know, relax and cleanse my palate for a bit. I'll still come back to the Reckoning eventually, because, you know, again, I am expecting that one to be more of an enjoyable experience than Ground Zero. But, Once I, you know, for now, once I finish, uh, Ground Zero, I think I'll move on to something else. It'll all work out fine. I'll come back, do the Reckoning. And then somewhere further down the line, I can play, uh... Let's, you know, I'll play a few other games, you know... So I'm not, you know, getting sick of Quake 2 anymore come back, do the Reckoning, and then somewhere down the line we'll go on to Quake 4 and see how Stra uh, Stragos looks in a, uh, fuck, in a 360-era engine. Dick.
Uh, no. That's the one. It missed. I didn't know they could miss. Unless he moved. I'll say I hope you guys aren't disappointed but uh you guys have been a pretty supportive group in the past so I'm pretty sure you'll understand although I gotta say I am now really happy with my decision to play Ground Zero before the Reckoning because goddamn if this is my final impression of Quake 2 I might have thought I hated this game uh that being said I'm Burning Dog Face and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Quake 2 Ground Zero. I'm gonna keep fighting our way through the ammo depot. Ugh! And, uh... Yeah, do what we do best. Later!